Hey guys, welcome back to the food spot with the fat kid inside. And as you know, I like to make things that are usually not healthy, just a little bit healthier so that you don't feel too bad about eating it. Today um, and for the next eight weeks, we're actually pairing up with Philips and the air fryer to try to get your favorite fatty recipes and just make them that much better and that much healthier for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the food spot with me, the fat kid inside. Today I'm going to show you probably a recipe that everyone wants to figure out and that is french fries. I want to show you that actually vegetables um, like potatoes, they're actually quite nutritious for you as long as you eat them in proper portions and you cook them the right way. So that's why today we're pairing up again with the Philips air fryer to give you a healthier french fry. The first thing we want to do is cut our potatoes up. I'm just going to use two big potatoes like here. I don't mind the skin so I'm actually going to keep it on. So I'm just going to cut them into big one inch strips and we're just going to stripe them again about half an inch thick. And now we're going to add our seasoning. I'm going to add olive oil not because I need it to actually coat the french fries just because I like the taste of olive oil on my french fries. So I'm going to add one tablespoon, toss that. And then your base seasoning, salt and pepper. So a bit of black pepper goes right on top. And a little bit of our salt as well. Toss everything together. So for this one, we're gonna use a little bit of bacon, some Parmesan, and also some garlic, just to give it that nice taste. So I'm gonna add in the garlic right now in this process. So you're just gonna pound it and get all those pieces cleaned out as much as possible. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nicely separated. Add everything to our french fries right here. Toss that all together. And the final piece of our puzzle is bacon. So we're gonna take about four strips. And again, without being too complicated about it, I'm just gonna give it a rough chop. And this will just give it really that beautiful taste. Toss everything together. Then I'm gonna set my air fryer to about 190 degrees. And then we're gonna cook it so we're gonna fit as much as we can in there, the whole bunch, and then close it up and kind of forget about it for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice, crisp, and brown. So after about 15 to 18 minutes, at around 190 degrees, we should be ready, and they look absolutely beautiful. They're nice and crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's nice and crunchy. The bacon's cooked. I'm gonna dump all of that over here into my bowl and this is when you can actually get really creative so right now I have uh, bacon and I have some garlic and some salt so I want to add a little bit more seasoning so I'm just going to use some of my flake salt here so I'm going to add some parmesan just to give me some of that creaminess milkiness that I'm looking for microplane and just go to town with it and toss that together a little bit of lemon peel just to give me some acidity and then finally, I'm gonna add some chopped parsley. Toss that all in as well. And we're basically ready to go. Take my french fries and put them in my vessel right here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a beautiful, tasty, non-fat fried french fries that is still crunchy and tasty. So soft and fire. Mm. And absolutely full of flavor. Now remember, if you don't have one yet, please go out and try to buy yourself an air fryer so that you can keep up with these recipes. There's another one coming next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. And as always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash the fat kid inside. And I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, we have a contest going on. Please do submit your own air fryer recipes using a Philips air fryer on my Facebook page. So that's facebook.com slash the fat kid inside. And then after we show all our videos, we'll select one winner and then I will be cooking for you a dinner for two right here at the red light.